there. Today, I gotta get a lot of recording done. I've got, basically, most of the songs on the EP are at a point where this one song I need to sit down and do a bunch of percussion. Uh, another one I need to re-sing the vocal. Another I might need to add guitars. It's, it's getting close. I need to finish recording everything and then I can focus on, hopefully in the next session, just taking everything and polishing it from an editing, tuning standpoint and then hopefully be ready to mix. That's the plan. I'm not gonna narrate everything as I go. I'll bring you along with me and just if anything exciting or interesting happens, I'll share it with you, but otherwise, I just gotta get to work. Plus, this afternoon, I've got a guitar session for a client, playing some electric guitars for them. A lot of recording today, which always makes for a good day. For a long time, I was stupid. And I thought, when anyone said percussion, I thought they meant congas and, and bongos. Like, that's what I thought percussion was, like Latin percussion. That's one aspect of percussion, but there's so much more to percussion than just, than just those. I never use those. I mean, I use a djembe occasionally for like a fake kick drum sound, but things like shakers and tambourines can make all the difference in the track. It can take it from being good to having this extra depth to it. Anyway, if you don't use percussion, you should consider it at least. So the way I do percussion normally, because I'm not, I'm not an amazing percussion player, but I can get the part out and it sounds fine. Then I go in and I tighten it up, quantize it a little bit. Then I turn it into a loop. So I just take a good two to four to eight bar section and then start to do loop, loop production around it. Just faster and works fine. There, so I'm at this part in the song, I've got one shaker, like three tambourines, a djembe. It's feeling good. Let me play that for you real quick and then tell you what I want to add. Okay, that feels fine, but there's a part, I want like a, an offbeat part, and I don't have drumsticks, but I thought the sound of like wood on this section here. So there's an offbeat in there, it's going boom, doom, doom, boom, doom, boom, ba da, boom, 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 da. And I want there to be an offbeat of boom, doom, doom, da, da, boom, da, da. And I thought it would need to sound like wood, like a stick, side stick thing. I don't have drumsticks or a kit, but I've got this. Some nice person made this little box out of a piece of a neck of a guitar. So I've been using it for guitar picks. Thank you, whoever gave this to me years ago. It was one of my home studio corner people. I don't have a name in here. Um, AH 2014. Thank you, AH. Accidentally broke the front part, so now it looks like it has a mouth. Hello, I'm Mr. Guitar Big Box. <laughs> it has a nice kind of, it's like cedar, I don't know. That could sound cool. So I'm going to try that. Let's just let's just see if that works. I have no idea. Now some claps. As long as I can remember. Okay, heading out, I've got a lunch date with a buddy. Just finished vocal, did a quick tuning on it, and I am exporting it directly into my Dropbox folder. Whoa, bam. So I can leave now, and in a few minutes it'll be in Dropbox, and I can listen to it on my phone. Isn't that nifty? Hey there. Mr. Homeless Man You looking hungry Let me buy you a filet o fish Well you're welcome I try to do all that I can Let's record guitars. Didn't quite.
quite finished, but I can see the finish line. It's quitting time, and tonight Owen is doing a school performance. They've got some big musical thing. He's almost done with kindergarten. Super excited. It's gonna be fun. I got meetings to attend. I got sales to make. Just let me get a few more dollars in the bank. Then I promise that I'll grant you your every wish. But right now I don't have time to teach you how to fish. Politician man, we should have dinner sometime.